Does the time they told me? I know that. So the bar has to Okay. Debbie, let's go back when this thing happened approximately how many years ago? Um, I would say 82, 81, 82. Okay. I tell, can't give you it. That's fine. Tell, okay, tell me what you know about this incident. Let's go from the very beginning, the day when it took place. And they meet the players. Okay, Scott was out on the skate. Scott who? Oliver. Oliver. Well, Scott Oliver was out on the skate. And um, we was all just sitting around, not doing too much. We wanted to get some speed. I always sat there and thought about it all day, and then Scott said that he knew a motel where he could probably get it easy. Okay. So, uh, he talked to a few people, and then I went in the bar. Okay, so all I gotta do is ask Opie if we can borrow his car. I said, okay. So I got Opie's car. Which bar are we going in to borrow his car, do you remember? I don't remember the name of it now. Okay. I don't, I, I know that it's right there by what used to be like a red barn or a western. Okay, that's Linda's bar we're talking about? Yeah, okay, Linda okay. Ship's bar. Linda Ship's bar. It you was going Linda Ship's bar at the time. Okay, but, okay. So you're going to borrow Opie's car. And then we left, then we went over it, and we got a Coke. And we rode around for a little bit. And then Scott told me, just pull up here. Okay, now, let me stop you a minute. Describe me the car you borrowed. It was an old Lincoln Continental, and the doors opened backwards. So the door opened towards the back of the car rather than the right, front. Right, it opened reverse. Was it a you two or four door? Four door. Okay. And the doors in the back opened backwards. You know, from you know, you open. I understand. Up. What color is the car? It was either dark blue or black. Okay, that's fine. Anything else you remember about that car? Okay, no. nothing else. That's fine, okay. Now, in the car, correct me, there's you, there's Scott, and who else? Larry. Larry. You're driving? Uh -huh. where, where are they riding? Do you remember? Scott was in the front with me, and Larry was in the back. And Larry's in the back. And Larry's last name is Wynn? Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. He tells you to park the car where? Up the street, right around the corner. Okay, what are we talking about? Just right around the corner from where the motel was. Okay. We're talking about which motel? I don't know the name. I told him last night. I don't know okay. the It's I on State Street? At about 28, 29 so or south. It's on, do you remember which side of the road it's on? East. It's on the east side of the road? Yes. Okay. So you pass, just go past the motel like you're going to Salt Lake? Yeah. Just barely north and there's the street. And, and you turn? I went up the street. I was sitting. East, just barely past the motel. Plus the place, so your car is facing east. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. What goes on from there? And they said just keep the motor running, and we'll be right out. Okay. And they went in. Both of them go in. Uh -huh. When they leave to go in, does either one of them have a gun? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Do you? Can you describe me that gun, or do you know what it is? Well. It, you know, like, you know, like in the old days, they had these long guns. Long barrel, okay. Yeah, but it's a 22 pistol. It had just little teeny tiny bullets, like what we, you would right. wear into a 22. It's a revolver, has one of the cylinders on it? Uh -huh. Okay, and who has the gun? Scott. Scott. Do you know if it was loaded? It was loaded. How do you know that? Because he loaded it before we even left the house. Okay, loaded it before you left the house. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. And then they went in, and they both come running out, and Larry hit Scott. 
What do you mean he hit him? Punched he hit him. him. Yeah, he hit him. <laughs> Punched him. In the car or running out? Or uh, when they were right outside the car. Just before they got in the car? And I asked them, what the hell are you doing? And the lady said, he just shot the goddamn son of a bitch. Like that. And oh. they both got in. Who got in where? Larry got in the back. Scott got in the front. How Larry long? was my ex-husband and Scott was my boyfriend. How long did they, were they, from the time they left your car did they come back? Minutes? Seconds? What are you talking about? Maybe five, six minutes. Okay. It didn't take long. Did you ever hear a gun go off while you were, from where you were in? Not really, huh? Okay. Did they tell you anything else about yes. what happened in there? What else did they say? After we left, when I said, what the hell is going on? People have got in the car. And Scott says, Jesus Christ, they shot him. I was with me, he shot him like that. I looked at Larry and Larry says, he shot the son of a bitch. I say, God. What else did they say? Did they say anything about how they done it? Where he shot him? He just said after that, I said, what did you do? And he said, I just shot him. And I shot over the counter and I grabbed the money, shot back over the counter, and we were out of there. Did he ever tell you how many times he shot? Never told you. Did he ever tell you how much money he got? I know it wasn't more than maybe between 10 and $30. It was a small amount of money. Very small. Did they say something about that? Yeah, he did. And then I got mad and I slapped him. And we went and got speed. And I think at that time for 100 hits of cross tops, it was now like $15. Okay. Well, did they comment? They commented to you about they didn't get much money, or right? Did they ever tell you anything else about what kind of a guy they shot, or anything about him? Yes, he was Japanese. He was a Japanese guy. They tell you anything else about? Well, Scott said maybe he just deserved it because he was a Jap. And they did not tell you, or have they ever told you where they shot him? Scott said he got him right between the eyes. That's what Scott said? Yeah. Did he tell you that right after that or just some time down the I road? asked him, you know, the same night. I said, well, where'd you shoot him at? And see, we didn't know he was dead okay. until like it was a couple of days later. We read in the newspaper. Uh -huh. He had picked up two, ne two teenagers. Okay. And they said the guy had died. Did he ever tell you how close he was when he shot him? Oh yeah, he said he was just right there against his head and he went to grab his wrist or something and so Scott shot him. Okay, so he, he told you he was right close to him? Yeah. And that the victim tried to grab his wrist. Okay, now when did you say they said they didn't know he was dead? A couple of days later or did they say when they came A couple out? of days later is when we really found out what was in the Did they think he was dead or did they say anything when you left? He just said I shot him. Did he tell you then where he shot him? Yeah, he said, well, no, he told me it was the side of his head or something. Between his eyes and the side okay. of his head, I can't remember. That's fine. That's super. That's fine. I just can't remember. That's fine. I can understand. What happened when they read about these two teeny teenagers getting arrested? Did they say something about that? Uh, I was the one that read it. Okay. I told Scott, I said, Jesus Christ, you kill him. He's right, we had killed him, but you killed him. And he just looked at me, and I, you know, it was no surprise. I, I think he really knew. Did they make any comment about these two teenagers being charged? And they got off with it or anything? Scott just told me that that's good and somebody else can just pay for it, and that's it. And I told Scott, is that? I was asking Ryan, right, and I heard that they got off on it, and I felt a lot better, and I just tried to forget about it. Okay. Now, can you tell me about what time of night or day this happened? I know it was it was late, but I, I know the bar wasn't closed yet, because OB was still there, and we had to take his car back and get my car and dump the uh, gun in the okay. dumpster. Okay, now it was dark? Oh, yeah. 
do you have any idea if we before midnight or after? Do you have an idea then? I think about 11, between 11 and 12. Okay. Now, where did you go right after this? You said you dumped the gun in the dumpster. Do you know where you dumped it? Yeah, right out back of the bar. So you, you went back to the bar. This to is get my Doug, bar. This is Doug and Linda's bar on state. Right. And they have one of the big dumpsters in the back. Uh -huh. And who threw the gun? I did. You did? Did they give it to you to throw in there? No, Scott wrapped, well, I just took it and just threw it. Was it in a holster or a rag or hand or? It wrapped what? up in rags. It was wrapped up in some rags. Do you know if they had unloaded it or left it the same way or do you know anything about that? They didn't that? unload it. But they wrapped it up in some rags. And when then you we went, went to get out of the car and I just grabbed it, dumped it down the dry, so let's just get my car and go. Were they aware of you doing that? Yeah. So you went back and got your car and you left. Had you heard any more about this during that time from then on until just recently? Until I read it in the paper and then Keith, the asshole, come after me on this. And okay, tell me about Keith. What does is, what is Keith get involved? Keith was in prison with Scott. He's known him for a long, long time. Okay, so Scott goes back to prison. Nothing to do with this case on something later on. Is that right? Right. And Keith was in prison with him at that time? Mm -hmm. We're talking about Keith Griffiths? Griffiths. Okay. And so then what happens? Keith gets out of prison and then he gets a hold of you? Uh-huh. What? And how long ago was that? Months? Years? Right about maybe six weeks, seven weeks ago. Okay. Do you remember going back one thing at the time? What day of the week this was when the shooting took place? You know if it was a weekend or a week think, night or I tried to think this remember. morning. Do you remember the month? I know no, I don't think it was the weekend. Okay. Well, I'm not saying it was, I'm just wondering if you remember. Uh, I can't tell you. Do you, you remember the time. month by chance? Was it warm outside, cold, snowing or anything like that? It wasn't cold. It wasn't okay. Yet at the time I was doing a lot of speed, but I was driving, it was not cold and it was dry and Okay, there so, no snow, so let's go back to when Keith was a hold of you. Keith, tell me about how Keith gets on. He just called me up. He calls you here at home. Mm -hmm. And this is how long ago? Months, weeks, year? About six, seven weeks ago. Okay, and what is he basically asking? Oh, what are you doing? I said, who is this? He said, Keith, you know, my guy, I've talked to you in years. He goes, I know. And he says, well, how did you get my phone number? And he said, well, I got it from Scott. And Scott didn't have my phone number. Larry did, but Scott didn't. Okay. And uh, he said, I need to talk to you. I said, all right. And I talk about it. He goes, no, let's get together. Not, no problem. Old friend. He came out here. We got into it really bad. An argument, huh? Uh, Okay, what do you get arguing about? Well, he told me that more or less if uh, I didn't do what I was supposed to do, then I was going to be in big trouble. I asked him what he was talking about. Can't use my news that I do it. Does he want you to go on another job? I don't know. I, I don't know. But he didn't really ask you what he wanted you. He, he just said, "I want you to do something." Did he ever ask you what he wanted you to do? No. Hey, you just told him, "I'm not going to do it." Whatever it is. Right. And then what? I just knew what, whatever it was. I just didn't want to deal with it. And I just didn't want to do it. That's all. And so, what does he say? He said, "Okay, you're going to have to pay for this because I know about the murder that went down." I said, "What murder?" And he told me. He just got to talk, talk to me about it. That guy that died, that damn Jap, died over there at that motel. Okay. And so, do you tell him any more about the murder at that time? Is he I asking? said, I told him I didn't want to talk to him. And he said if he had to, that he would, you know, get more people to talk to me about this. Okay. And then does he leave? You had After, him. I
had any contact with Key since that day? I'm waiting. But you haven't had any since then? Um, I wish. But you've had one other contact, and that's with an individual. Manuel. Manuel. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, he's about 21, 20 years old. That little Mexican. He got on the bus. He rode all the way almost to what we call the end of the line. I went to let him off. I thought everything was okay because I'd seen him one time in Keith. Met him over here in Keith. So you had seen him before with Keith at your home? Okay. That's when Keith and I got into the argument and he called him to come get him. Okay. And he walked up in front of us put the gun in my hand and said, you're dead. And he you said, Dr. Keith. Does he say any more than that? And then he gets off the bus and leaves? He just, yeah, and just ran away. And have you heard any more since that time? Nothing. Any of Nothing. So I feel like I am so stupid. I just maybe keep my mouth shut. Now, now, the only individual, correct me if I'm wrong, that you ever told about how this happened was Linda Schiff. And that's been many years ago. It's never been discussed since. Have you ever talked to her in the last several years? No. No, in fact, um, her bar got burglarized by Scott, and I ended up going to jail with that by receiving. I'm still paying that off. I never had nothing to do with From her bar, her. and that was Scott. Yeah. Okay, now. And Larry is your, is, was your ex-husband. Yeah. Do you have much contact with him lately, or do you have a feud with him, uh, or you have a good relationship? Every, or what? No, it's not great. Well, he's out there at the prison. He's at the prison now? Yeah. Okay. Do you know where Scott is now? He's at the prison now. Yeah. They're both at the prison? I don't know where. Keith told me he's still out there. And is Keith's out and about? Oh, yeah. Is he on parole, or do you know? Uh -huh. He said that he did all his time and... He's off. Oh. Yeah, he just... And you don't know Manuel, but you may know him if I showed you a picture of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What brings you to decide to tell somebody about this? Is it because of the last threats, the thing on the bus and that? Or, or how come you finally decided to tell somebody? Because I got drunk last night and I don't know, maybe I just want out my conscience, but maybe I don't want anybody to spit me anymore either. So I have to do. That's fine. That's fine. I just want to know. That is fine. That's that's all I need to do. Now what I what I've done is I was like now they couldn't get any money out of me, they couldn't get me to do what they wanted me to do. I should have just left a little bit. Oh no, now. Oh, my big mouth last night, now I've got this. No, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Gary, got any more questions? The only thing I, uh, I wanted, I've asked you before, I'd like to ask you again, Debbie, is on the gun. You say now, the gun, he had the gun at the house before you guys went to the bar. Yes. But you don't know where the gun come from. Whose gun was it? Was it your gun? No, I, I don't remember where he got it. I was trying to think of that since early this morning. I was trying to think of everything that's been going through my head. Sure. Okay. And you're scared, and you were scared last night, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. What I'm not scared enough, I just died at it, and I just wanted it over with, one way or another. 